Hello. So today we're going to do a practicability test on the buttons which are available on the tablet and see how well it get along with the software. So first one, Adobe Photoshop. Second, Adobe Illustrator. Third, Adobe Premiere Pro. Fourth, Adobe After Effects. And the last one, 3ds Max. Let's strap on the glove and get started. So firstly, you need to click on the first button on the tablet to bring out the pen tablet settings. And here you can see that we have uh, two buttons that we can customize. And I change it to middle click and right click. And clicking on the tablet will show you the pen pressure sensitivity. And that is the active area that you can choose and also choosing which monitor you want to show. So next, we can click on the express key settings. So there's K1 to K8. And you can see that these are all the presets. Alternate spacebar. Let's uh, move aside for a bit. Okay, sorry, uh, just bring it back. We have space, and then we have Ctrl Z, zoom in, zoom out, brush, eraser, B, E. All right. So let's go ahead and test it out now in Photoshop. So I'm gonna bring this to my side screen so that I remember what are those keys are. So right now I try to draw something here and test with, test out with a stroke. So uh, clicking, right click, okay, click on this button. Where it allows you to bring out the options for your brush. Okay, so you can choose. And clicking this second button will allows me to use an alternate which in Photoshop it is a color picker. The third button that will be a spacebar, right? Spacebar. Okay, and that's a under redo. And this is the zoom in button. So because I have requests from my viewers that asking whether we can do a zoom in and zoom out, yeah, that is possible. And once we zoom in, we can use the space bar to move our pen around our canvas. And uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so for the other one, it will be an eraser. Okay, so next, let's see if we can set or tweak any other settings from here. And also here at K7, let's try to choose the run program. And for this, like we can customize to open up any specific applications. So it must be an EXE. Okay, so after if we click it, it should be able to run, but I don't want to set it right now. And next, we have the function key. So you can customize for the left click, right click, middle click, scroll up, scroll down, double click, shortcuts, control, alternate shift, and <laughs> I don't have to mention everything. And uh, how about we try to use it as a spacebar? Okay. Now let's see if it works. Okay, I try to zoom in. And I click on the seventh button, okay, K7, and it works as a space bar. Okay, like the ones we have it on the K3. And it works fine like without delays, without latency problems. So next, I would like to show you one more uh, special function key. Come look into here. And that's the fine detail mode. So let's click OK. And we would like to try it out. So try to click on it. Okay, it doesn't seem to work. Uh, it's because I think we, we have uh, this double presets right here, so I'll just get rid of one of it. And then we try it again. So once I click on it, so it certainly it has this highlights and then it kind of uh, 
compress the, the whole surface of that tablet into the small size so that whenever you have uh, big movements on your tablet, it's going to apply to small areas on your canvas. Okay, so which allows you to draw things in a more precise way, in a more detailed way. So that is good for artists. To exit, just click on the back button back again. Then I'll be back to normal mode. Next, let's test in Adobe Illustrator. And uh, let me choose some tools. Okay, the marquee tool. We're gonna drag a few uh, rectangular. And also we're gonna choose the pen tool and try to trace or draw a line. So you can see that zoom in function works exactly the same like Photoshop. Okay, so it's like a mouse, like how you drew it. I click and drag to create a curve. And let's uh, zoom out, zoom in. And do some curves and add it there. Okay, next let's try it out with the brush tool. So we'll like to see if it functions like a normal brush. Okay, so we draw something and it instantly turns it into a vector. Okay, it works like a magic with the pen. So if imagine that you draw it with a mouse, it's gonna be difficult. But if you draw it with a pen, okay, a pen, and then it certainly turns into a vector, it's, it's, it's a good thing. And it also helps you to kind of correct it. Of course, that, that's what the Illustrator do. So you can live with the very shaky strokes. Pretty smooth. So, yep, I'll say it works really good with uh, Illustrator, with the pen. Alright, so let's test it in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, I'm gonna use it like how I use a mouse and try out and see whether it works. So this is one of the videos that I created for a Galmon uh, Pro tablet review. We would like to try to trim it. Okay, drag it. It works fine. Trim it, drag it, like move around. Try to delete this. Okay, move the clips and put it back. We'll try to delete and uh, yeah, shift it over. And we'll try to drag a new clip and create a new timeline for it. Okay, so it works just normal. And drag around, trim it again, move the clips around. Okay, right click. Alright, nothing that shows a problem, sign of problems, so everything works just fine. Okay, scrolling around uh, the tabs in the project window works fine as well. So keep dragging on new clips to put it here. Everything works perfect. Okay, so next we will like to test out the masking tool in Premiere Pro. So this is uh, one of the features that it's being requested by my viewer. So I'm going to use the pen tool and we're going to start to trace this hand and it works like how you traced it using a mouse. Okay, I accidentally click on the rotate so it, I rotated the whole mask. So I'm just going to try to use my pen to move it back. Okay, fit it nicely and I think it works fine. Okay, it works good.
So next we will like to test this out in After Effects. So I can scroll my project window. Alright, and uh, this is one of the projects that I did uh, back then. And I can pan around the, the cameras, the composition. And I can try to click uh, zoom in, uh, zoom out. Okay, <laughs> you can. Uh, certain function keys doesn't work in this software. I have to use my keyboard to composite for that. And I can click around. I can try to drag one of the stuff. Okay, click on the settings. Drag around the timeline. Okay, and it works just like the mouse. Okay, try to right click and turn one of the options, like keys to uh, flat out, okay, slow out, you know, like the key interpolation settings. And so scrolling through again, uh, clicking around the timeline, layers. Okay, I think it works like how I did it using a mouse. Okay, which uh, sometimes if you feel uh, your hands are kind of tired, you can use this as a mouse re replacement. Uh, but just one thing bad is like whenever I try to search my my stuff, it always pops up with the uh, small windows, which requires to write on it. Okay, so I have to use my keyboard to type out the, the effects I want. Try to use with the curve adjustment. So I think it was great. All right, so next we're gonna test it inside 3ds Max. So we're gonna use the combination with the keyboard. So let me start to yeah try to move around. So I think moving using middle mouse is fine. And we try to drag the teapot, click clicking is fine. Panning cameras is fine. Now we try to rotate, and it seems like it's a little bit slow. So I can feel the lagginess. I'm not too sure why. It could be because of the software problem or the compatibility settings. Okay, so if I try to use my mouse to, to scroll in and out, okay. So yeah, let me check with the rotating. Rotating it's fine with mouse, okay. Uh, it could be because of I'm connecting with it, all right, or it's more compatible with the mouse. And whenever I use the pen to rotate the view, which is the alternate plus uh, meta mouse key, it feels a little bit laggy. And zooming in and out, uh, it, it works fine. Okay, just the rotating part that has a bit of problem. Somehow it, it got stuck. So I, I feel that uh, whenever I'm, I was clicking a little bit too fast, certain things got stuck somehow with 3ds Max. Not as fluent as using a mouse. So after the test we feel different software for compatibility issues with buttons on the pen and express function keys. Conclusion, the good things. So all the buttons come with the presets that is working or more favor, I would say to Adobe Photoshop. And all the buttons are customizable with the shortcut key that you want to use with Adobe Illustrator. And it works well, okay, or normal like a mouse or you can do your daily routine in Premiere and After Effects. All right, so for the bad things, the default zoom key doesn't really work with After Effects. And when clicking the buttons too quick and too often, as in like two to three clicks per second, it slows and it won't be able to catch up with the speed. And for 3ds Max, there are rotating problems. So I would say it's a latency problems. I can't rotate well with the viewport. And lastly, try not to have multiple profile setups for the different software. Sometimes it just uh, stuck and then it gives you problems. It doesn't detect properly. Best to work with is Photoshop, ZBrush, Illustrator. And not working so well with 3ds Max and After Effects. And Premiere Pro was okay. Hope this video helps and gives you more info before choosing the most suitable tablet for you. 
if you like this video, please and please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and if you wish to see more of these videos. Thanks and I will see you next time. Bye bye.